just sent, I'm Suzanne Runyon. And what are we doing in this hour? Well, we're gonna go deep under the sea. And also, we're gonna go back to 18... 78. 78, thank you. 18, 78. that's my, 78. 1878, we're gonna go back in time. And it's all about coins, and it's cool, right? Like one show you can go under the sea and go way back in time. Yes, that's what we're gonna have. And a whole lot more in between. It's one big hour, and we are the place to be able to collect really great coins, really rare coins, and of course we have special offers. Now I'm gonna feature two that I wanted to get out right away in the beginning of the show. This is the first one, Mike. Mike's gonna be joining me. He is one of the world's premier coin experts. We're always thrilled that he's here. Uh, we have coming up the 2020 limited edition Silver Eagle dollar coin. Mike, that's an awesome price on that, by the yeah, way. Yeah, <laughs> $89.95. And remember, you also get the grading certificate with this one. The grading Love certificate, it. the Red Oak presentation box. So you have an $89 2020 perfect Silver Eagle with over $100 worth of bonuses. Yeah, and those grading okay. certificates, you can grade four additional coins. So if you have that coin that Grandpa gave you a long time ago, you always wondered, what's it worth? Well, you can find it. Leads great. You get to grade that. those at ICG. The key to that is how many are left. There's only 3,020 in the entire edition. We have edition. 767 left. Only 767 That's left it. out of 3,020. Yeah, and so then we've all sold like 2,300. Right. That's okay, it. Okay. One more thing I want to show you too is this is coming up in just a little bit. There it is. This is the early release. 2020, once again, so it's going to be the latest. Early release Silver Eagle dollar. Ooh. What's the big deal on that one? We got a sale price on this. Nice to begin with. So first of all, it's our flag core, our NGC flag core. Of course, flag core is 100% exclusive to me. Nobody else can sell flag core but me. But I've got the flag core early release 2020 Eagle. If you look at it, we've got it actually in that the 2020 Eagles are out and live in the mint state. You can see right there. So it's that, you know, kind of double number that you're going Going on. Remember, we will talk about this at length when we when we do this. The United States government has decided they are changing the design of the American Silver Eagle in 2021, literally making this the very last. When I say once in a lifetime, that can sometimes be a throwaway kind of line. But literally, they've changed it once in 35 years by law. They can't change it again for 25 years. So it'll be once certainly in my lifetime that I get an opportunity to present what amounts to the very last year of full year of production of the United States American Silver Eagle in 2020 that you're seeing right here. And so that is a huge, huge, huge deal. deal. We'll talk about that. We will get into that in just a moment. But first, we're actually going to go deep under the sea and we're going to talk about a tiger shark. And you're like, wait a minute, there's a coin that's actually a tiger shark? And yes, there is. And it's one of the coolest collectibles I've ever seen. Yeah, they they, they, it's, they started doing this thing. Palm Suisse, who's kind of famous for, for doing gold and silver, has started doing these special editions. Okay, that's really and cool. And this is the Hunters of the Deep. So when you look at this, that's a pretty good representation of a tiger shark. I've seen one relatively up close, and that's that looks pretty good. But check this out. It's Isn't actually a that coin. Cool? It's actually a coin, the tiger shark. They started doing this Hunters of the Deep series last year. They only do 2,500 of each coin. They did the Great White in 2019. Unfortunately, Great White completely and totally sold out. Wow. We've also got the Hammerhead, got a few left on hsn.com, and they're just released the tiger shark that you're gonna have. Now, I love we that have like one. 200 and something of these. Yeah, we don't have a lot. Remember, they only did 2,500 for worldwide distribution. We get 10% of the entire edition. We are debuting this right here, right now, the Tiger Shark coin that goes with the Hunters of the Deep series. The cool thing I like about it, right over here, each coin is individually serial numbered. Look at the serial number coin that we have. And it's one ounce, right? Yeah, we have coin you got one. one? This is How'd coin you get one. one. Well, we get 10% <laughs> of the entire mintage. We tend to get the early ones, <laughs> is what we do. But each coin is individually numbered. So it comes in this great presentation. I'm gonna put this back up here. I love, so, you gotta see the, the presentation. So here's the, here, here it is like this. So it comes in a holder, which you can open it up if you want, like I did, and then explains the whole tiger shark thing right here. Isn't that fa fantastic? Look at that. And that's what you go, the hunters of the deep. There's the tiger shark. Now wait, before this one's gone, I just want to explain kind of a neat story. Um, so Mike and I were on a couple weeks ago and we had uh, from the same company, basically. The Hunters this. from the Sky. Not, we did Hunters from the Sky. Right. And a friend of mine is retiring from a long, a very long, a very successful career in education. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what do I get, get him? I'm like, gosh, he, you know, he loves a bird watching. It's his m favorite hobby in the whole wide world. And we have the Hunters of the Sky and I bought him a hawk. Like a, it's a red- Red-tailed hawk. Red-tailed hawk. And it just arrived at home and I was so excited 
excited to go, there's Mike's gift. Right. Because I thought, what do I get a man who's kind of got everything? What else do you buy him? And I thought he will really appreciate it. And he'll remember for his retirement, every time he looks at that coin, mm -hmm. he's gonna remember that we gave it to him. So think about something like this for that birthday gift to mark that special occasion. If you have a kid who's really fascinated with undersea, you know, they, all the sharks and, and kids are so fascinated with it. Can you imagine how cool this would be to give them as a gift for their birthday coming up? That's I love right. that. And the fact that it's a $2 silver coin tiger shark that you can see there. One ounce pure silver. This one's serial number Wait, one. And that was the other reason I thought it was good to give them. I'm giving them silver. I really yeah. thought... Give them birds, give them silver, silver give, give them, them limited unique. edition, give them a numismatic thing that it's just a coin. Because yeah. there's a lot of people out there that make ingots of different things or whatever, but they're not coins. Mm -hmm. And so understand, then you're just kind of collecting silver. So it's more of an intrinsic value thing. When you get to here, you're talking about numismatic value. Okay, great way chart, 2019, unfortunately completely sold out. Who knows what that's selling for in the secondary marketplace? Probably crazy. We still have a very few in the 2020s. They started 2020. The first coin was the hammerhead. We've got some of those on hsn.com. As a matter of fact, I've got one right here. I can show you that's the hammerhead oh, coin that's so cool. that we've got right there. And then we are releasing <laughs> and debuting the tiger shark coin. We have a handful now. of the hammerheads. Uh, uh, that are that are left uh, uh, right there. So we have the Tiger Shark that we're just releasing, limited edition 2500. Like I said, and this is the um, this is the Hammerhead, the last quantity. Man, we had the same thing, 250 of those. There you go, same exact price, 119. That's the original issue price that's really that cool. you're going to see right there. Very very cool. All right, guys, so stay right there for that one. Go online, you can check out all the coins. And again, very few left now in the Tiger Shark. So just a little heads up. Um, don't forget, you have three flex space too, which is great. Any major credit card, you can even use PayPal will spread your payments out over three months. And that's what I did. I did flex for my friend's Mike's retirement gift, which I think he's going to be really surprised. No one will love it. No one, no one else will give that to no him. One, that's kind of my thing. I thought, well, you know, they're going to get him bottles of wine and people get him little cards oh, yeah, or whatever. Wine. Yeah, wine. No, I mean, that's nothing great. wrong with that. No, it's true. Don't, don't get but me I wrong. Mean, I, he's literally going to open up and go, really, you got me a bird and it's a real coin and it's silver. So there you go. Pretty All cool. right, You'll so like now that. this is called the Congratulations Series. And I think this is a really interesting coin. And I'm debuting this in just the regular NGC. We had the NGC flag core, a little bit more money. I mean, you know, because of the flag core, the flag core or just cost more. NGC charges right. us more for flight core. Uh, uh, so here, here's what we have. So we're going to have NGC congratulations set proof 70 ultra cameo. Okay. So first thing I want to talk about is the American silver eagle and the importance of the American silver eagle. The fact that look, President Ronald Reagan signed the Liberty Coin Act into law in December of 2000 or of 1985. It became instantly when it was released in 1986, the most popularly collected silver coin in the world today. Right. It has, since 1986, every one of them have looked just like this coin. This has been the obverse, this has been the reverse. This is Adolf A. Wyman design that was done originally on the Walking Liberty Half Dollar, reprised for the American Silver Eagle. The reverse, the John Mercanti design of what's called the Heraldic Eagle, and it has been there unchanged for 35 years. The United States government announces late last year, very late last year, I think it was post-Thanksgiving, that they go, you know what we're going to do in 2021 for the 35th anniversary, this is the 35th year they've made it, so next year will be the 35th anniversary, we're going to change the reverse design, complete and total redesign. So what that means is this series is at an end. This is it right. for the American Silver Eagle. And so when I say it's once in a lifetime thing, I mean, literally, I've been selling this for 30 years on television, and by law, they can't change it again for 25 years. I won't be here in 25 years doing this. I can promise you that right now. I don't know, maybe they'll wheel me out. Yeah, wheel you out. A little, so, ox little I'm, oxygen. I'm, I'm oldish as it is. So, I mean, you know, 25 <laughs> years from now. In, regardless, so what you have right here is the fact that you have a coin that's the last in a series. That's tremendously collectible. It's tremendously desirable to get a coin that's, in essence, the last of the series. People go, aren't firsts better? Firsts are great. But last can be absolutely as important or more important, particularly from a collectible standpoint, than first. Why is that? 
Well, they tend to make fewer of them. It catches people by surprise. Like, uh, um, let me see what would be the first one. Uh, St. Gaudens Gold Coin, uh, first made in 1907. The original 1907 high relief St. Gaudens in a beautiful condition is worth, it's a $100,000 coin. Like say a high wire. Like it, the last one? That's the first one. Oh, the first one, okay. Yeah, no, that's the cheap one. Oh God, at are you serious? Yeah, the last one's 1933. Okay. If I had that out here, I would put a $35 million price point on that. Stop something it. like that, yeah, something. Wow. Right around in there. And I'm just guessing because <laughs> there hasn't been one on the market in 20 years. Wow. Because there's only one in existence. Wow. Okay, they made 321,000, but they melted 320,999. <laughs> uh, uh, 1883, the, the Liberty V nickel. 1883, nice, brilliant, uncirculated, $150 first year of issue. Last year of issue, 1913, it's about a $10 million coin. Oh my gosh. Okay, wow. so, so so what I'm saying is, is lasts are important. It's a big deal. Now, these, this is not ever going to be a $10 million or $30 million coin. I can tell you that right now. Right, right. But it is highly incredibly, ridiculously collectible. Well, it's collectible in its own right. Now right. that it's the last of it, it takes it that much higher. Right, and so now I've gone this long and tortured route to explain why this this uh, uh, coin is so special just from the fact that it's an American silver eagle and the last of its kind, okay? Like I said, the king is dead, but, you know, long live the king next year. But now we have the mint state silver eagle, which was like our today's special, we sold 12,000. We've sold another three or four or 5,000 of the mint state coins, fantastic. We've sold several thousand of the proof coins, but what we haven't had in any quantity is a special subset of value, which is called the congratulations set. The United States government just released this, brand new. And I wanna show you what it looks like. They've been doing these since 2013. And what they do is they put out this little thing called congratulations. Well, that's a Could congratulations set. And you open it up and it's basically a proof American Silver Eagle and a congratulations deal. But what it does, is it establishes a different provenance. Okay. These coins are the rarest basically every year of the American Silver Eagles that they put out since 2013 that comes out. The government charges more for these than they do for the regular Silver Eagles. Hence why this is a little bit more than the regular Silver Eagle. But this is the rarest subset. So now you have a coin that everybody's collecting. Now you have a, a coin that everybody is scrambling for. Now you have a coin that everybody has to have in their collection. The mint state coins uh, are, are out there and being sold. The proof coins are going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of about 50 times rarer than the mint state coins. And this is going to be the rarest of the proof coins. As a matter of fact, if you look out there right now, I think we have a 2016 Congratulations Eagle on hsn.com. That just all it is is the proof silver eagle from that year that came out of this congratulations package. And if you go to hsn.com and you look for 2016 Congratulations Eagle, now if you go to a proof silver eagle from that, I think we charge like $199 for that, for the regular proof eagle. But the Congratulations Eagle is significantly more money because of the provenance, because it comes from the congratulations set, and that's what we have here, and I'm just debuting this. There it is right there. A mere $799. Oh, Don't understand, that's not the last of its kind. It's just the proof Silver Eagle from that year that comes out of the congratulations set. Wow. Now, so that's all it is. It says congrats, so it came out of here. So you send this into the grading company, they certify it congratulations, and here's the important thing, then they destroy the packaging. So they can't be, because this could technically be reused. Right, you're because right. Because this could pop out of there. this, so you could put right. a different coin. So they destroy the packaging to guarantee that it comes out of the congratulations set. It's a huge deal. Wow. Uh, and, and so then when we have this congratulations set, American Silver Eagle right here, not for $799. And this coin is technically, I think, significantly, significantly more collectible than 2016. Right. This because this is just it's the one last. in the year. It's just one of the rarest congratulations eagles. Right. This is not only the rarest eagle released so far this year because it's going to be 20 times rarer than the proof silver eagle oh. which is going to make it oh my goodness a thousand times rarer than the mint state coin we have got these i'm debuting this that we're going to have ngc absolutely perfect 70 in the uh from the congratulations set i've got very limited quantities like i said the government just released the congratulations but, but then set. what's taken to that next kind of crazy level is mm -hmm. it's the last of its kind the last of its kind, so and that's that, the key. And that, that 2016 certainly wasn't that. It wasn't the oh, last. No, not either. at all. No, no. And so if you think about, I mean, think about the collectability. Think about the, the rareness of this specifically, and again, getting that final one. We've got a couple more coming up that will be the last as well. Between the choices, where do we go here? Well, you have to have a mint state coin. You have to have a proof coin. Uh, uh, 
I personally think, because you're at the end of the run, you, you have to try to get all of them. You want the proof, you want the mince date, you want the congratulations, Eagle, they'll come out with an estimate proof a little later in the year. So that's pretty much most of it, okay? There's not gonna be like 10, there's gonna be like four or five, okay? So well, I would try to collect all, but if you have to winnow it down, yes, okay, to one coin, I think the congratulations eagle is probably your best bet because it's the rarest subset of all of those eagles. Oh, gotcha. And, and what's happening is, and, and, and here's the other part of this that's becoming kind of critical, is the fact that the popularity of these, and I've been doing this for a very long time. So when they started selling, I mean, I was selling like the 1986 American Silver Eagle in 1986. Okay. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think I started on television until 88, actually, <laughs> but I was selling it yes, in, in, in 86. In your right, personally. Yes. I I was selling it on television starting in 1988. And so what happens is, is I've watched and tracked the popularity of the American Silver Eagle, which has been strong all the way. This year is setting every record that has ever been set in American Silver Eagle sales, wow. period. This is the year. Everybody has to have this, and this is the congratulations, the rarest subset of the very last heraldic design issue of the American Silver Eagle. They've said the United States Mint that they are releasing is 2021. They are completely and utterly redesigning the reverse of the coin. Now is the time to get, which is gonna be the bookend coin, if you will, uh, in this set in its absolute rarest format, which is congratulations set. All right, so we're gonna wrap up on that, guys. Two nineteen ninety five, And again, remember, everything now has flex. We have actually a four flex on that. Oh, nice. Which is awesome. All right, coming up, remember I started at the beginning of the show saying we're gonna go deep under the sea, and then we're gonna go way back in time to to 1878, which is pretty exciting. I was really thrilled because when you think about 1878, we're actually gonna have a coin on the air that's that old. Well, let's talk about bookends. <laughs> sure. So we're gonna go back 144 years. So let's, so we're just doing the last year of the American Silver Eagle. How about we do the first year of the Morgan Silver Dollar? Ooh, and that's wow. what we have. So back then they did the dies and things a little differently than they do today. Today they're, uh, they're cut by laser in essence. Uh, uh, you know, it's a, it's a thing. They used to engrave them by hand, so each person did it a little differently. If we can go in as close as we can on the, uh, on the coin right there that you see uh, on the reverse, this is what's called a flat breast and a round breast on the eagle. You can substantially see the difference is, uh, uh, is what they, what they want to do. And you know, do. Mike, we'll show it a little bit later closer. Uh, okay. we oh, we're just right previewing. I thought just we were doing this. Looking. Oh, no, look quick looky bad. look. I was ready to sell that. Teeth. I know you're all in it. I was uh, all in. It's coming up though. So, and, you'll, and stick around because then you'll hear the rest of the story. Now you're intrigued. <laughs> you're like, now I got to know the rest. What right. is this round breasted thing? Right. <laughs> all right, our next time up, now this is another one of our really limited items in the show. In fact, well, most of the show is actually quite limited. Uh, but this is exciting because normally we do not offer grading services with our coins. So this is really a One good time a year for Annex on our today's special value, we sold 12,290 in one day. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then we do the ICG coin for free certification, $76 value, Red Oak presentation box, $24.95 value. So you're going to have then a hundred, a little over a hundred dollars in bonuses. The only way to get a grading certificate, like I said, if you remember, for Annex, it was only on the TS day. We sold it all on the 31st, That's okay, right. December 31st. And we don't do that again. And we don't do that ever again. There's, that's the only time of the year that we can do that. Well, I mean, it's 50,000 coin gradings. That's it's true. It's like a million dollars worth of coin gradings. That's true. Well, this, and this is a mere 12,000 coin gradings. Wow. Okay, because four coins for every one of the 3,000 coins. So for every one of these 2020 American Silver Eagles. So remember, same story. They're changing the design. This is the very last year of the design. You're getting it certified Mint State 70, and you're getting it first day of issue, which is 100% exclusive to us here at uh, HSN. We've sold about 2,300 of these right now, only seven hundred left in the limited edition and why uh, and why wouldn't it sell so well because you have the hundred dollars worth of bonuses the four coin grading coins the the red oak presentation box and at the special hsn price of only 89 dollars and 95 cents but only for 700 uh, additional uh, additional coins that's all you have once again 2020 last year of issue Incredibly, Wait. phenomenally, ridiculously collectible. Is important. this the last grading certificate offered this year? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four until coins. We do, until we get to New Year's Eve Eve again. That's right. Occasionally, once every three or four years, we do a two-coin grading certificate. If it's a real special coin, we haven't done those in I haven't years. Seen it. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, it's been years since that. we've done those. But for four-coin grading, this is it. This, this is, is it. it. When we do the Mint State 70 Eagle, the annex is gone. I right. mean, we sold 12,000 in one day on that. So there's no. And so this is the only other four-coin grading certificate that we're that we'll do for the year. Uh, and in in the ICG that you're seeing right here, the only way to get get it is once again to be able to get this at our special HSN price 3,220 I'm sorry 3,020 in the limited edition over 2,300 already sold right. 2,300 sold we're down to the final 700 or a little less than 700 remember 100 or 24.95 here 76 dollars here this coin right here like I said either one of them is worth 89 <laughs> this is worth 100 dollars this is certainly worth 89 dollars right. put them together absolutely stunning opportunity that's probably stunning one of our that. best values we'll have for the whole show absolutely I no mean doubt. absolutely this if you have any old coins you've always wondered are they worth anything we've always wanted them graded this is the most affordable way to get them graded and it's yeah. four coins plus of course you're getting again what the last of this historic silver eagle this is it Absolutely. so it's a nice affordable way to be able to get this whole story in one package all right we're going to wrap up on that stay with us because now we've got next time next we go back in time way back and you hear the rest of that morgan story so stay with us you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. Just to remind you before we go back in time with our coin collection and that story of the Morgan coin, I want to remind you of our today's special. If you didn't see it, you'll get a repeat of it a little bit later on. In fact, next hour, um, this is an iPad. It's the latest from iPad. We have a huge exclusive configuration. And if you didn't see last hour's presentation, coming up in about 40 minutes, you'll see a replay of it so you can learn all about it. But if you ever want an iPad, tonight's the night you really treat yourself to it. It is a phenomenal combination we've put together, a truly an exceptional savings so stick around you'll see a full presentation coming up in about 40 you can go online right now and pick it up if you'd like to very easily just by doing a couple clicks or call someone and they'll be glad to help you thank you very much all right Mike Mizak is patiently standing right there <laughs> with me he's one of the world's uh, leading coin experts and we're always glad I call him my favorite coin geek <laughs> always glad to have you here you do. I do and he wears Mickey Mouse socks what socks yeah. do you have on today I same one Which as always. Is it, always. This is Lucky Mickey socks. Always the, Mickey, always the Lucky Mickey Mouse socks. You know you've worked with a guy for a long time when you know the socks he's going to wear, for sure. All right. S yeah, same uh, same thing. <laughs> it's so cute. It's that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that one pair or do you have like 10 of them? I have like 15 pairs. I was going to say. That's they my Christmas don't... present every year from, is it really? from my daughter, yeah. No, is it really? Sure. Oh, that's Mickey hilarious. The, she's got to go to the park. Well, yeah, she has to go to the park. Yeah. Hunt them down, okay? Twist her on. <laughs> that's right. It, it gets a couple <laughs> if pairs. If they ever stop making that design, you're going to be in trouble. I'm in trouble. Well, I've stashed. I probably have. Have, probably have 10 fresh ones. Oh, fresh, that, new. Yeah, okay, so you're good to go. We just wanted to check in on the Mickey socks. All right, <laughs> so now we are going to go back in time. And I think that's what's so cool about the show is like you never know what to expect when you tune in to a coin collector mm -hmm. show because now we're going to go back more than 100 years. Obviously. Very difficult to do. So first of all, you have two... Two 1878 first year of issue Morgan Silver Dollars. So you start with that. Okay. So you start with two brand new Morgan Silver Dollars right here, 1878. You can see that right over there. Nice little presentation box that you're going to have. Look at that, 1878, very first year of issue, 145 years old. That's cool. Uh, 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 or 120, I'm sorry, 142 years old. 142 years old. Great, two great coins at less than $100 a piece. 
But what happens is, is when you look at this, there are different variations, and as they, uh, back then they used to individually carve each each die, in essence, all the hub that makes the dies. Wow. Uh, and they would have to individually carve those. And you can see, if you look at this, the breast on the eagle, on this one, I gotta get it just right, is kind of fuller, rounder. Whereas here, it's flatter. It's like, okay, the guy, you know, carved the design here, and this one he had to go to lunch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He says, oh, okay, that's good enough. I, that's where the term good enough for government work came in. No, that's not true at all. Um, <laughs> but that's the difference. So it was literally, it, it was probably two different engravers that just had two different interpretations. Because this was all 100% hand work. So you could literally see the difference between different dyes. So when you turn into completely incredible coin geekdom, okay? okay? There are books that are like this thick on the different dye varieties of Morgan silver dollars. So you can literally see the different dyes that were made because each coin is subtly different because they were literally carved by hand. Wow, so okay. there's whole books so on that it, topic. That's right, so what you do is you carve a hub and a hub makes the die. Okay. But the hubs wear out and the dies wear out. And so you need a new hub which would create new dies. Right. And so what happens is, is it's a different hand, if you will. And so, uh, uh, you know, so it's a whole different mechanical amazing. process. That's correct. So what you do is literally see, and, and those, those, the guys who actually did this are lost to history. So we don't really even know who the die engravers, we know some of who the die engravers were, but we don't know who actually did, you know, the round breast right here or the flat breast right and here. And how rare is it to be able to get both of them in one set? It's hard, okay? The flat breast is very difficult to get. The round breast is the easier one to get. Okay. The flat breast, much more difficult to get. Significantly rare. It only came off of what they call one hub, so it probably made maybe eight dies, uh, something wow. like that. And so it is significantly, significantly rarer. And it is a coin that, and I went, so I went out and looked, and I found, I finally found the same coins, nationally advertised catalog, 199, 179. No. Same exact wow. coins, just like this. So we give you the pair of coins for basically the same price. First year of issue Morgans, 100% original, less than $100 a piece for 1878 Morgans and the two reverse uh, uh, varieties that we have, the round breast, flat breast that you're gonna have with that at a spectacular less than $100 That's, price. That is cool too. And again, we have four flex available, which normally until uh, the start of this month, we've never had flex on everything. And now we do. So there you go, four flex. Coins, right. And by crazy. the way, first time back since November. It's mm -hmm. been a long time since we've actually had this one on the air. All right, and not a lot left. We started with about 287 going into this show, so that's going to be That was all we had, really, that's basically, all we had. that, that yeah. we put together for yeah, the whole that's year. that's it. Okay, coming up, stick with us, because we will have the 2020 Annex, first day of the issue, limited edition, 24. It's literally 24 available to the world, four-coin gold eagle set. All of them? Like, and, oh, and also, by five the way, left. they're changing <laughs> the gold eagle as well. Are they really? Yeah, and, and no it's kidding. a little different story. You know, there's a there's a, a, like kind of a cool story that goes with that. Uh, also, key to this, 24 limited edition. How many sets do we actually have? Five. Five. And before I went on the air, we had six. We had six. So, so one's already one. so someone's yeah. already bought one. <laughs> so we have. So when we say only a handful remaining. We literally, literally mean a handful, five, five remaining. <laughs> okay, is all That's that awesome. is all that we have, and I'll tell you the whole story of the change of the reverse time when we do the whole uh, uh, when we do the whole deal. Okay, good. Now this one's called early release, so we have a lot of the Silver Eagles tonight, and we've had this. The congratulations. Uh, the second one we had was what was the first one? Congratulations. Congratulations, one. and then we had the um, ICG. ICG, that's right, with the, with the, with the, with um, the certificates, the grading certificate. And now this is early release. This is a big deal, and particularly the sale price of $20 off in the flag core. Flag core is huge. Early release is huge. If you look, I, look at you right there it is, 2020. We're out there, we're Beautiful. live, we're ready to go. Mint State 70, absolutely, positively perfect early release. Now, here's what early release means. Early release means that it is from the first 30 days of release, and we're right up against that. So if they don't already have coins, and already there's a, there's basically, in essence, a shortage of coins. Good luck getting coins out there. Because the demand, like I said, I've been selling these things for 25 plus years on, on television. I've been selling them for 35 years. I have never, ever, ever, 
ever seen demand like I've seen for this year's American Silver Eagle. So when I'm talking about, you know, it's like 20% more than, uh, uh, than 2019s and 20, 30% more than 2018s, I'm talking about 200% wow. increase in the demand for these coins. Now, the government didn't necessarily make any more of them, and that's the problem, particularly early release. So now we have early release, which is a big designation. But the whole key to this one, in my mind, is the flag core. The flag core. So what's happened is, you know, when you go out there and try to find coins, you really want to try to get your coins certified as best you can. And so NGC, great, uh, you know, the big three certification, there's four major certification companies. ICG, they certify the least number of coins. The big three that certify the most are going to be Annex, NGC, and PCGS. So NGC has lots and lots and lots of kind of different labels and things. And I mean, it's kind of a lot to, to get in. So what we decided to do, just like we did an Annex first day of issue, which you can only buy here. We said, we want a 100% you know, exclusive thing that I can, I'm the only one that can sell it, and Flagcore NGC is what we ended up with. So I'm the only one that can sell Flagcore NGCs, that's it. I, I am the sole, exclusive, 100% uh, only, uh, only distributor, in essence, of Flagcore. So, and what we mean by that is, is the core, or in essence, this plastic piece that holds the American Silver Eagle is done, of course, in an American flag design. This is the third year that we've done this now. And they've become very, very highly desirable in the marketplace. We and, and so what we did is instead of all these 86 billion different labels and like I said, the label fullication of American numismatics, which I've absolutely hated, what we've done is it is a simple label. Basically, all of our flag cores have the same label. It's for the eagle, it's got the eagle right here and it just tells you the stuff. Early release. So you're going to get early release. You get it absolutely exclusively. Comes with the Red Oak presentation box, $24.95 value on the Red Oak presentation box. And, and then you're going to have this right here and this early release NGC right. and it's Mint State 70, absolutely positively perfect. And there it is right there. And now, also, remember last year. I cannot impress upon you enough. And so the designations of value, absolutely positively perfect. Early release, 2020 American Silver Eagle. So that right there tells you what it's all about. And there you have the NGC, which is the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation right. that you're going to have. You have our exclusive core on this. You've got the fact that it's Min State 70. By the way, the government didn't do a great job on these. Min State 70s are hard to get. Uh, very low grading percentages on these right now. Red Oak Presentation Box, $24.95 for this empty. And that's a customer pick. At twenty four yeah. ninety five, and then by the way, we give you twenty dollars off. So we put it on sale, and, and, and put it money on sale. Money on sale is always a great thing. <laughs> so you know, twenty dollars off here, twenty here, forty five bucks. So you know, twenty four ninety five in essence bonus. Look at it any way you want. Right. We'll save twenty dollars on this. Fantastic, fantastic opportunity for you. So last year of issue, what does that mean? You have to understand the United States government is absolutely loath to change the design of an American coin. It simply does not happen. I've been doing this, like I said, I'm oldish. I've been doing this a very, very long time, going into my 30th year on television selling American numismatic coins. I'm the very first person that actually sold certified coins on television. And I did it for years by myself. First day Nobody, of issue was you First too. day of issue was, we, 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 I invented first day of issue. Yeah. Uh, kind of accidentally, but I invented first day of issue. So you do all that stuff. And so uh, I've been doing this for a long time. Keep in mind, for instance, the Roosevelt dime has never changed in my lifetime. No. Oh. Okay? Never changed. The Kennedy half dollar, since its release in 1964, has never changed in my lifetime. The, the Lincoln cent will change one time in my lifetime. One time in my lifetime. They will change the Lincoln cent. That's it. And they did it, what, 10 years ago. Uh, it was 11 years ago now. The change in the Lincoln cent. Understand, they simply don't change. So they started making this Silver Eagle in 1986. They have never changed it. 35 years. It's looked exactly like this. 2021, it will get a complete and total redesign on the reverse. And they're actually going to do a slight change on the obverse doing anti-counterfeiting technology. So they can do really kind of cool lines and, and, and all kind of stuff. I hope it looks a 
little bit like the Canadian Maple Leaf, what they did with that. So those are absolutely critically important. So for the first time in 35 years, they're changing the American Civil War. That is a huge deal. You have to have the bookend. You have to have the last full year of design. And that's exactly what you're going to have right here. Absolutely no doubt about it. Of course, you want to get next year's coin too. But then you have the transition set. Well, you have to have this to, in essence, get the transition set right. is ultimately what it comes down to. And demand has been immense. Early release, very, very difficult to get. Of course, Flycor, you can only get from me. Right. Uh, you know, early release, they do that in other labels, but that is an important designation for this because the demand has been so intense for the brand new American Silver Eagle, given the fact that it's a design change that has taken a lot of people by surprise and getting coins is incredibly, incredibly difficult. Right. And like I said, this is our first look. Now well, add in. But I was gonna say, and get a perfect coin. And get a perfect sure coin. You can get a coin. <laughs> Well, you well, got to certify, on perfect. average, you have to certify about 10 coins to get one Mint State 7. Do you really? Yeah. Wow. So when we've certified to date now, uh, uh, people say, well, you know, they've made a lot of these things. Well, we've gone through 250,000. American Silver Eagle oh Three Annex gosh. and NGC. Just for us, right. they've gone through probably a million coins. Okay. Well, uh, between the three major grading services, between Annex, NGC, and PCGS, they've probably gone through the better part of a million coins, piece by piece, coin by coin. They're graders. I mean, they're basically working three shifts. It's just absolutely crazy. So wow. difficult to get coins. If you sent in American Silver Eagles right now, I don't suspect you could get coins back within two or three months. You're, if you they're did that behind. Oh, absolutely, they're that behind. So that they're, really, they're behind. Well, uh, let's put it this way. I, I know I have 150,000 coins sitting there for them to still go through, <laughs> okay? Yeah, yeah. So, just you, know, you alone. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, that's right. Between right. me and, and another buddy of mine, I mean, those are kind of the biggest guys out there for NGC. So, right. I mean, you know, we're, we're ours have been in there since day one. Wow. So just to get through ours, I mean, I don't think you can absolutely positively expect to get anything back in 2020 Eagles if you just send in coins randomly for 30, 60, 90 days at the very least. They're, no they're just, kidding. they're just, they're, they're just swamped. They're just swamped. And every one of the grading stores. And even more swamped. So they're grading two times as many, three times as many coins as they were last year. Wow. And so now it becomes difficult to get. Now, okay, you have the end of the design. Now put in 2020. I mean, you have to understand, look at that. And I understand it's a little thing, but it's really not. Yep. It looks cool. It's 2020 really is a cool. thing. And yeah. so the last time that they did that was, of course, 1919. Right. And right. then 1818. Yeah. So there's only going to be three of these in the history of U.S. coins. That's true. Because there was no 1717, and there's not going to be a 2121. Right. You know? Right. So they only did three of, in essence, the double dates that they're ever going to do in the history of the U.S. Mint. So you've got that. You've got the end of the decade. You've got the end of the series. You've got the end of the design. You know, you've got the, you got the double date that you're going to have right in there with that 2020 so you've got that with the numerology aspect yeah. of it you have the exclusivity you got it absolutely positively perfect how important is perfect 1986 i sell uh 1986 mint state 69 ngc eagles i think they're about a hundred dollars okay 69 69 in 70 probably 600 Okay. okay. Well, we had a pair, an annex pair, 86, 20, 20, Mint State 70s for $499. We had 110 sets. Our last show, it took uh, uh, four minutes to sell them all. Wow. I mean, you know, in perfect 70. I don't even have any NGCs right now. Oh, you don't? I mean, you know, and, and 1986 Eagles, you think these things are hard to get? 86s have absolutely disappeared. No kidding. Disappeared. Eight months ago, ten months ago, I could have made five calls and got a thousand coins. Okay. Now we just went through this huge. There was a huge show down in Houston. We went down there. Uh, all our representatives walked the floor trying to find every '86 American Silver Eagle on the floor. You know how many we got? Thirty-four. Is that because you wanted the first and the last? Yeah. Is that yeah. the big? Everybody reason? wants the first and right. the last. Right. I mean, and so now everybody who didn't have the first are scrambling. Like to get I said, the first. last year at that same show, I could have bought a thousand coins. I bought thirty-four coins. No there kidding. Was, $100 million worth of coins on the floor. $500 million worth of coins on the floor. The 34 American Oh, submarines. my gosh. 86s. Okay. Wow. I saw no 2020s because nobody else had any certified or had any graded. Right. So like I said, so you get this. These are ready to go. We've got the flag core. Got Min State 70. We have early release. We have Red Oak presentation box. We have the very last of its kind. You know, it is absolutely a stunning opportunity with the exclusivity of the flag core. Then add in the fact that you are getting Min State 70 absolutely positively perfect. And then the early release designation, which is more important than ever. It's always been important. But it has never been, in essence, this important. Right. You know, we did the New Year's Eve edition in Flag Corps, which we do every year. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, we sell, 
You know, the addition is whatever we sell in one day. Right. Traditionally, we sell about 2,000 coins. This year, we sold 5,000 coins. So that's what I'm saying, two and a half times. Wow. So it's anywhere between two and four times more American silver eagles across the board that has ever been sold before. The United States government is going to get into a little bit of trouble this year in the American silver eagle. In my opinion, I think it has taken them a little bit by surprise. They've had a, they're having a very ambitious year. They've announced some stuff. We knew a bunch of cool stuff coming out. Some of the stuff they've announced has been insane. Really? Like they're, they're doing the W Mint quarters again this year, but with privy marks. It's the craziest <laughs> thing. They're doing privy marks. And then the special addition to proof sets, mint sets, and silver proof sets are W minted Jefferson Nichols. Really? They're, I mean, it's crazy. So what's happening is, is they've taken on this huge, huge, huge kind of new catalog of coins and all this cool stuff. The mint's really up in their game. But the standard coin, the mint state 70 coin, they're getting destroyed with demand right now. And I don't think that they're going to be able to keep up. I think it's going to be a battle against time all year long. Get yours now. Get at the front. Because understand... If you've been watching this program, of course you know that they've changed the design. The vast majority of Americans have no idea. Wait till the first time it's on one of the morning shows, okay? Wait till the first time uh, everybody starts doing it, starts getting because news Because you print. know what, historically, that's a really significant good story. Yeah. Like, you know, you normally They're don't- They're changing the American normally, Silver Eagle. Well, you don't oh. normally cover coin stories very often, except for the state quarters, right? Right. But that's really a huge, significant, interesting uh -huh. story for the American public to understand. That's right, $24.95 bonus. We're taking $20 off the coin, 100% exclusive, early release. We got flag core, certified absolutely positively perfect. And then, of course, we're debuting. This is our debut right here, right now. Right, for the right. early release Mint State 70 flag core American and last put, of and its series. And we put it on sale. Yeah, that's so pretty take cool. it, it's not even our normal HSN price. We dropped it down $20, mm -hmm. so certainly take advantage of that. And of course, that Flex Bay. All right, I'm gonna show you another one that's coming up in just a couple of minutes. And this is our NGC proof set. So this is the regular proof. Remember, okay. we had the congratulations proof that was okay. earlier in the show. Right. So the government, and, and one of the things I forgot to add in, so you can see the regular proof's a little bit less money. That's our regular issue price, $199, even though they're dang near impossible to get. We're still gonna do, we're gonna do $199 on this. The proof silver eagle also, all the eagles are changing, proof or otherwise. Okay. That is spectacular. My quantities on this, uh, on these are relatively limited as well. The government just released the proof coins. They're gonna have a hard time doing the, keeping up with the proof coins no as kidding. well. So I've got this once again, and if you look at that, the samples here, the samples line, that's actually the night, that's actually the 2020. Yep. That's almost impossible to find out there in the marketplace. Uh, we'll spend a few minutes on that here in just a little bit. Now we're moving on to gold. So really, you've, uh -huh. you've added this spectacular story to what traditionally you do offer the four piece gold set. Mm -hmm. You usually have that on the air. Right. Well, we have every year we sell it out right, right away. You know, right. we have 24 this year. Well, we're down to five. We have five left. We have five left. And the, so, so of this complete set, once again, first day of issue, Annex exclusive dust. So these are all solid gold. $5 gold, $10 gold, $25 gold, $50 gold that you're going to have right there. Let me get that. There we go. $50 gold that you're going to have. The 2024 coin set, first year of issue, or first day of issue. And then you're going to have this an individually match numbered set. So all those coins will be number five. This is set number five. I want you to, to uh, uh, look at the reverse right here. So they're changing the gold eagle as well. So they're changing the American gold eagle as well. So they're changing the reverse. We don't know what they're doing with the obverse. They're gonna do some anti-counterfeiting technology as well you can see, but they're doing a complete and total redesign on the reverse. Now, this is part of the cool story. Oh, by the way, almost two ounces of pure gold. Okay, <laughs> by, 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 by the, the buy. <laughs> yeah, this coin by itself, one ounce pure gold. Wow. In contained within the coin. So, by law, all United States coins of a denomination larger than a dime must have an eagle on them, okay? Someplace on the coin, there has to be an eagle. Huh. Um, that's just, that's the law. With one exception, the American gold eagle. It must have, by law, a family of eagles. So really? not just a eagle, by law, it has to be a family <laughs> of eagles.
So when they it read seems it, like a strange thing. It does, <laughs> but it's true, and it's the reason they did this. So you have Augustus St. Gaudens designed the front side of this coin, and it came out in the St. Gaudens gold coin in 1907. Okay, okay? was the it was the obverse. They they brought back a, a kind of a vintage design for that. Many people consider this to be the most beautiful gold coin ever made. Okay, is the American uh, uh, St. Gaudens gold coin, which ended in 1933. They reprised the design for the American gold eagle that you see right there, Lady Liberty riding brilliantly out of a rising sun. Uh, 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 just um, uh, Augustus St. Gaudens was one of America's most preeminent uh, famous uh, sculptors of the time. And so he did this. He did this coin. He also did the $10 American Gold Eagle, uh, uh, which is, I think, might even be a more beautiful coin. But look at that. That coin is absolutely positively it's stunning. It's gorgeous. The reverse design was designed by a contemporary sculptor, Ms. Miley Busick. Huh. And she... And she just did this. This is a father eagle coming to the mother eagle and the fledgling eaglets in the nest Just right the there. the family. Because it has to be a family of <laughs> eagles. So people have asked you to say, what's the new design of the silver eagle? What's the new design of the gold eagle? I have no idea. The mint has given nobody any clue whatsoever in any way, shape, or form what the new designs are going to be. All we know is that it has to be a, a family of eagles. And so this is the last year of this design. Same deal as the American silver eagle. Can I ask you a question? When they do a new design, is it pretty dramatic of the, the change? Well, this will or be is completely slight. No, 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 no. The reverse, when they. Uh, they can do slight design changes, yes. okay? Like at the Kennedy half dollar, they, they, they thinned or th made thicker or thinner his hair, okay? Yeah. You know, but, the, but the design it remains true to form. They're talking about total, complete redesigns. Wow. The front will have a, the obverse of the coin, will have a slight design change. They're putting in some anti-counterfeiting technology. There might be some privy marks in there. They could put some, perhaps, lines in the field of the coin to, to prevent counterfeiting or something like that. But the reverse, this design will be completely and totally, It'll totally reworked. Different. It'll be okay. totally different. It'll be totally different, 100% different. Uh, and so, once again, they haven't changed this design in 35 years. By law, they can't change it for another minimum 25 years. They don't have to change it every 25 years, but they can't change it except every 25 years. And so that's what we have here. So we'll get a new family of eagles next year. But this is your last look. So now you have gold, which is a big deal. You've got the complete set, which is a big deal. You've got them all matched number. We have five sets, okay, is all we have left, literally a handful. But it's the very last year of the Gold Eagle. It's That's the great. very last year of this design. So the, this family of eagles is, for, is on the coin. Uh, uh, this will be the last full year of design that they have on this coin right here. The United States government has been announced complete and total redesign in 2021. Critical for you to pick this coin. Okay, up. now I have discovered one thing that does not include everything on FlexPay. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Do we not have Flex on this? Yeah. So, so much for that promo. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but we do have 12 months VIP. There we go. That's oh, there what we you did, go. That's, that's where you what we go did with special that one, yeah. on this. Uh -huh. So what you do, if you have your HSN card, you actually get 12 months to pay it off if you'd like to take advantage of it. Certainly take advantage of that for sure. If you're new to getting the card right now, just till the end of the month for a couple of days, you'll get $40 off the first item you put on the card. So there's never been a better time other than right around the holidays to get our card. And chances of us doing 40 again for the rest of the year, pretty darn slim. We're just doing it for literally a couple of days so grab that card also you do get the red oak presentation box on this which is beautiful and mike do you have collectors who this is what they wait for every year is to get this new edition of the four absolutely set. no doubt about that yeah, yeah. like that they, you guys wait and wait that's why we started out with only 24 and also understand to get a perfect coin in gold is v much more difficult than getting it in silver because it's a softer metal. Much softer metal, so it picks up any imperfection of any, any kind. Speck or gets picked up. That's right, gets picked up. Anything that's been on the die, I mean, even just a little piece of lint creates what's called a strike through. Mm. I've had graders uh, uh, describe this when they look at a gold coin because of the way that it's struck. They describe a gold coin, a new gold coin like this, as having a skin. Okay, that over the entire thing, it's almost kind of this matte shimmering finish. And any imperfection, in essence, punctures the skin of the coin. It's so thin and, and so uh, luxurious, if you will, that matte finish. And that'll and so, take it out of the And that 70. takes it out of the 70 range, absolutely, wow, that's positively. that's amazing. Yeah. All right, so guys, remember, this is wildly limited. And you only had 24 in the world to start with. Right. And remember, that's it. When they're 100 gone, 100% exclusive, guys, can't get it right. anyway. Comes with the stunning 
four coin red oak presentation really pretty box. Yeah. And again, just literally less than a handful left. Mm. Like, not even five. <laughs> All right, which I think that's kind of funny when you think about it. All right, so we're going to move on to the very next item. I have 264 available of this next item, which is also our last item in the show. And again, now we're talking about the Silver Eagle once again, but this is a little different uh, in this case. Well, it's just, it's the regular Proof Eagle. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we had the Proof Eagle, we had the Min State Eagle, the Proof Eagle, and the Congratulations Eagle. Those are the three eagles that the government has released so far. That's three of probably the four that they're going to release for the year. Wow. Okay. They're going to do an estimate proof later on in the year. We don't know when or anything like that. Beyond that, I don't know what other Silver Eagles they're going to do of any special. They may do something special during the year, but they've not announced anything. Okay. The commemorative this year is going to be the basketball commemorative coin, and we're just blowing the doors off of that. I got so much special stuff coming out for that. That's going to be our show at the end of March and the 1st of April. you got to stay tuned now. Keep an eye on hsn.com. We may be able to post some stuff early. We'll see. we got crazy stuff for that. But for this, so this is the proof American Silver Eagle. Look at that. There we go. So beautiful. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Now, remember, proof is not a condition but a method of manufacturing. See, proof coins are just made differently. People say, well, aren't they just really nice coins? Well, they are, but they're substantially, substantively different than the, uh, than the mint state coin. They're struck multiple times, as opposed to once, under much higher pressure, and it's that higher pressure that gives you this mirror field that you see out there. Plus incredible uh, detail. It, it, plus oh the incredible gosh. detail. The coin's fully struck, and then it almost fractures the silver, is, is really what it comes it's down beautiful. to, that creates that, what we call that cameo appearance. And if you look, this is done in an ultra cameo. Oftentimes you see deep cameo, but these, this particular batch we have are ultra cameo. Uh, How does that coins. differ? Uh, it's an even better cameo. You have okay. deep cameo and then you have ultra cameo. And so ultra cameo does that. Now remember, so this is the proof American Silver Eagle made at West Point. Now one of the things that I, that I neglected to mention earlier, and I, 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 uh, I, I should have, is one of the things that we've seen from the United States Mint this year is they are substantially upping their game with the things that they're doing. They are also. Wait, I thought they had a pretty good year last year. They had a great like they year. They had some crazy cool they stuff had some last crazy year. Crazy coins last year. Right. 2019S uh, reverse enhanced reverse proof eagle released at seventy dollars. I think uh, we're about sold out at forty three hundred. Oh, I, mean, I mean, yeah. So it was for seventy dollars, forty three hundred. Yeah, they they sold thirty thousand coins. They had a million people basically try to order in, in the first ten right, minutes. Right. Okay. Uh, obviously, only thirty thousand. We had the, all the Apollo. All the Apollo. We had that, the kids discovery uh, we, one. Uh, oh, the rocket the, ship. Oh, uh, so the, I thought last year the was innovation a, dollars, the innovation, yeah. all of that stuff. I thought last year here. was pretty good. Do you think this year is actually going to be more it's spectacular? It's absolutely going to be better. <laughs> so the mint's upping their game, and as it turns out, they're also upping their price. <laughs> Darn it! Across the board, virtually everything that we've seen has had substantial price increases. So in 2018, 2019, they did the reverse proof American innovation dollars, you know, the single coin packs. The original issue price in 18 and 19, and actually for the f only the first three 2019, they are gonna release the third one this year, in 2020, was $9.95, and it's into, this year it's 11.50. Oh, okay. 15%. Price is going up. So everything that they're doing is going up 15 to 20%. I think that's going to hold true for proof sets and mint sets. It held true for proof American silver eagles. So when we originally priced these at 199, we assumed the old price. We were wrong. Almost a 20% increase in price. However, we have held our price in this. And you look at that, there's some of that in there. That is absolutely in the case. So this case that's out here, you can see. See how you see it doubled? That's so how you know it's not in the coin. Because you can see it oh, really? on there. Oh, sure. Because you can the see reflection. it. The reflection. You see the reflection. Yeah, because, you know, we shine this yeah. up and get a little piece of sand or something on that. And so you can see the reflection, so you know it's in the case because it's reflecting back in the coin. <laughs> so the coin is probably, you won't get these because we, we don't shine up those uh, uh, coins because of the TV lights, it gets crazy in right, here. Right. So we gotta really, really, really get those. It doesn't uh, mean the coin itself, of course. No, the coin itself is absolutely perfect. <laughs> you don't wanna touch and the coin. And that's the key. Even right. these proof coins that the government literally has handled, I mean, they're struck, and, uh, they clean the dyes by hand like every 20 coins. Wow. You know, Do they, they really? strike the coins, yeah, and then they 
take a ray because they want him to stay with this ultra cameo. They want him to be beautiful. I mean, this is the highest example of the Minter's art. And they finally decided, well, you know, we're going to start charging you for that. So we're going to up the price on these 20%. We did not up our price 20%. Okay, we did not so up our price. So you did a guesstimate. That, that's right, and so and we're holding true to that for right now. Of course, the congratulations sets were even more increased. The proof sets are going to go up. The mint sets are going. Everything is going up from the mint. Everything, fifteen percent, twenty percent, twenty-five percent. Who knows what they're going to do? The simplest of coins are all going up. Like I said, as the mint is upping their game, they're upping their price. So now is the time to get in on this. Well, I still have these at my original price of one ninety-nine ninety-five for the proof coin. Do not confuse it with the mint state coin. The mint state coin is more of a bullion coin. Okay. Okay, which means that it's just it's it's sold a lot based on the silver price. Now there's still a, a premium to the silver. Nobody says, oh, I just buy those for silver. They're wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> okay, because the government charges a substantial premium to the silver price, but this is much more. So the premium that the government charges for uh, an American Silver Eagle can run now uh, basically between 15 and 20 percent over the price of silver. Uncertified, ungraded. You know, you got to buy 500 on all that kind of stuff. For this, we're looking at 350, 400% over the price of silver. Okay, that's the importance because this is a presentation coin. This coin is 50 times rarer than the mint state coin. It is proof, it is perfect. We've got it right here. And remember, this is the design change year. So they're not only changing the mint state, they are changing the proof coins as well. They, uh, uh, there is a significant effect in terms of the number of coins that are being made by the United States government. And the reason for that is pretty simple. The reason for that is demand. Right. And understand they, uh, to some degree, make these coins to demand, but they have all these other coins that they need to start making. They have, for instance, they're going to start making the basketball coins. Right. The other big thing this year is the United States Mint is re releasing the first colorized coin that they have ever done. Really? And they are lost. They have no idea. They don't even know when it's going to come out. They're having trouble with the colorization. It's going to be the basketball coin. The basketball silver dollar and the basketball half dollar is going to be colorized from the United States Mint this year. That's so cool. So you're going to have the regular basketball coin. They just announced the Privy, Privy Mark coins. They just announced the W Mint uh, 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 nickels. They've got all of these things going on. They can only do so much. And when demand explodes for a coin like this, particularly in perfect condition, I think there's going to be shortages well, for the, the entire year. And the last of its kind. And the last that, of its that's kind. That's the other. So add that in. Say Just now it's a transition coin. Right. Exactly. exactly. See, I, I remember this. So the United States Mint, the last time there was a huge increase in demand was 2009. Okay. Why is that? Uh, well, it, there was a little economic crisis in 2008. And so people went into silver and they decided to do American Silver Eagles. So the mintage of American Silver Eagles in that year went up from basically 10 million coins to 40 million coins. Oh, my goodness. It went up so strongly that in 2009, they didn't even make proof Silver Eagles. They didn't have enough blanks. No to make, way. They only made mint state silver eagles, and they were behind for the entire year. 2009, the premiums on those coins skyrocketed. Wow. They couldn't keep up. I don't think, and, and while well, they got better at making blanks, because that's a third party. That's a third-party vendor that does that. They don't make their own blanks. They get these. It's a very, very highly uh, technical process to make the coins before they strike them, what they call the blanks, yeah. uh, uh, with that. And so when you get those blanks, I think they're going to under... Because the, the government has to order out months and months and right, months sure. and months in sure. advance. I think they have underestimated significantly the number of proof coins and the number of mint state coins that they're going to need to make. I think production will behind, be behind all year. You've got it. We've got the coins. We've got 2020s. Mm -hmm. We've We've got them right here, right now. And you we need, don't have a lot of these. And we don't all. have a lot of these coins. Yeah. You need to pick these up. You need to take advantage of these. Because it could be, at some point, if the United States government goes into back order on these, which they have uncertified, ungraded, right. it can be months. Yeah. I remember, like, the, the Apollo, the five-ounce coin. You know, we have, oh, we have plenty of them, okay? It was four and a half months before we got new coins. Wow. 
And then at the end of the year, then they sell them out. So it's like, I mean, who knows what's going to happen with this stuff? All I know is get the coins you can get now because it's the end of an era. It's the end of a coin. Big deal. And again, we have 240 left. This, that's it. Worldwide for the entire, everyone watching wow. here, we have, what, 87 million households. There's literally 240 <laughs> of these left. So obviously very, very limited. Please remember on this case, you do have a four flex pays. So you can get this home for about $50, pay it off over four months. And again, we have a 30-day return policy. I think when you're shopping for your coins, go with someone you know. Mike's been here for years and years. Go with a guaranteed, what, what he says, he says, and what it says, we say, and all of that above. So take advantage of that. And we got return policy. Like, that's pretty awesome. 30, 30 days. days. Nobody else it. has 30 days. No money back one's going to do that at all. They're going to say, I'll give you some money back, but not the full price you paid. And then flex pay. And flex pay on top of that. There you go. Mike, thanks for hanging out. When are you back? Uh, 7 p.m. tonight. Oh, good. All right. So we'll see you at 7. Thanks for hanging out with us. More coming up, including our today's special.